Hello friends, thank you for tuning in and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be briefly learning about the universally accepted vegetation sampling method called Quadrit method. This method is generally employed for the determination of plants density, abundance and frequency percentage. So to begin with, for easy understanding, let us assume that we are interested in knowing how many number of individual of a given species and the overall number of species are present in this given plot or the habitat of interest. Practically, it is impossible for us to count the plant individuals and number of species one by one. Therefore, we have to adopt the standardized sampling method to avail the required information of the plants present in the area of interest or the habitat of interest. Therefore, the most standardized and accurate method of sampling and estimation of vegetation is the Quadrit method of sampling. To understand further, first let us be clear what is a quadrit. A quadrit is actually a standardized, rigid, and square shaped frame that is made up of a plastic or a small diameter metal rod. Generally, a quadrit is square in shape because it provides an equal or the same size of measurement throughout the sampling of the vegetation cover in the habitat of interest. And also, it minimizes complex calculation in the later stage of the estimation procedure. And normally, for estimation of shrubs, a quadrat measuring 3 meters by 3 meter is normally employed or used. Whereas for herbs, a 1 meter by 1 meter quadrat is normally used. Next, when do we use quadrats? Quadrats are generally used in ecological study, especially the biodiversity related study, and particularly for sampling of the vegetation cover in the habitat of interest, be it in a terrestrial or a coastal area. And the data availed from the quadrates sampled are extrapolated and from which a comprehensive knowledge or information about the vegetation present in the habitat of interest is acquired. The next question is how it is used? It's very simple. In order to estimate the population of the plant species in the habitat of interest. For herbs, a 1 by 1 square meter of quadrates is randomly thrown or placed in the habitat of interest. However, in case of shrubs, a 3 by 3 square meter quadrate is used. But in case, if such size quadrate is not available, then what you have to do is first fix one stick on the ground and with the help of a measuring tape, make a 3 by 3 meter quadrate and mark the boundary by using a thread. Then identify and count the number of species and also the total number of individual of the particular species present within the quadrates. Then repeat the same procedure for several number of quadrates within the habitat of interest or the area of study. And these quadrates samples will represent the shrubs or the herbs population in the habitat of interest. Next, on using quadrates method of sampling, a number of significant information can be a whale or abstracted about the vegetation cover in the particular habitat of interest. 
such as through the quadrate study we can generate the list of different plant species present or growing in the habitat of interest for example this is our area of study and this is a list of species present in the area study. Next, through the quadrant study, it can assist an ecologist to estimate the total number of individual of the species, for example, species A or B or C or N. And also, it assists in the estimation of the overall or the total number of different species present in the habitat of interest. Next, quadrate sampling also assists an ecologist in the estimation of the species richness or how many species are there present in this particular area or habitat of interest and also help in finding the plant frequency percentage or how the species are distributed in the habitat of interest and the detailed information about this can be acquired by determining the plant density abundance and frequency percentage and the detailed explanation of this section is discussed separately in another video so with that we now have come to an end of this video i hope this basic information will enlighten you about the quadrate method of sampling so if you find this video helpful please kindly like share and subscribe to my channel your support of any kind will be highly appreciated so thank you once again and god blessed